Right, we've got to say hello with Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Bobby, my cat. We're going to do a board for Aubrey Allen, the best butcher in the UK. And you go somewhere safe. Right, it's barbecue time, so we're going to do the word barbecue and a list of stuff underneath. This is going to be the main part, and I'm going to do it quite colourfully, would you believe, in barbecue colours, sort of fiery colours, red, orange and yellow, with a few flames coming off. And then the rest of it, a little bit more uh, functional with a brush, mostly in white, which is mostly the boards for this uh, client. I have two boards to do, this is the first one. I've marked out uh, the words, the letters BBQ and the idea here is to put a base of white on so that I can put the colours on top of that. And I'm using this wide pen, it's uh, Zig Posterman of course, and here we go. Notice the bottom base of the B is bigger. An overlap is good, we you can use that. In this weather, that will dry very quickly. Hope you like the location, by the way. It's the back of the van. I'm at the uh, front of the house, and there's a bit of traffic going by, so excuse that. Okay, I'm going to put across here exciting barbecue ideas. Barbecue ideas in the same sort of style. And that overlap we'll pick up with a black pen later on. Well thank goodness for a bit of sunshine at last. Right, barbecue colours. This is the base white. We're going to put layers of colour on. Uh, red, orange and yellow. Now if you think about it, the hottest part is below where the fire is. So I'm going to put some fiery reds and whites on there. And that will be white uh, through to red at the top. So let's start from the top put the reds on. And you can make this fairly rough and try and catch it. It's good that it's hot and sunny but I want to rub them in as well so don't worry if there's too much of an overlap there. Now the orange. Make sure the pens are well mixed up. Now while it's wet, I'm just going to rub those in to smooth off the movement from red to orange. Moving quickly on, I've used this yellow this morning already so I know it's mixed in the tube okay. to try and not touch that yellow at all and pull any through. Keep that as white as it can be. It's hot and it's starting to move slightly. Okay, that's now I'll just turn that towards the sun for a second. And uh, I'm going to use a white, small white, and as if the light was coming from this way and put a, a white line around this edge. The back edge I'm going to make red. Here we go. Uh, a 
wobbling up, her wobbling up. Yes. I'm not going to confuse that. You know, some come up in the middle here too. Now let's get the um, the red back. Put this charcoal each stuff. Very random. Over to the side. Even pulling up into the letters. If we looked at charcoal, it's white as well. <coughs> so let's just dab some white on the charcoal flames. Just stand back and have a look, make sure you're not overdoing anything. It's got that sort of glow about it. Let's just put a little bit of um, Nice to get one thing cutting into another. Right, they look like they're sitting on coals quite nice. I'm losing this here, so let's just go around those. Bring that back out. Yep, that's it. That's good. I don't know if I've ever shown you my back of Van Easel. Made it myself. Simply a ladder shape with this which I can look on another height and get up here. Now then, I've got five items to put on. Here's my uh, planning sheet. And uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five. A fair amount in each one. So two lines I think are needed there. <coughs> so what I've done, <laughs> this stick I know is a good size. And so I'll put two there, two there, two there and so on. And that will get me five sections with two lines in. So there's ten of these going down here. And it's important to get this layout good. Got a number of brushes here to choose from. Uh, it's be quite small actually. Um, possibly... Oh, that one. That's good. Number two. I simply get the uh, paint. Uh, hang on a so I simply get the ink and push it onto a surface like this. To oh, it's a bit uh, mucky. Squeeze it on, and then pick it up with a brush. Right down there. The brush. Just not too much excess. Let's see what we got. Um, Cornish butterfly legs of lamb. The lamb is the main word, so I meant that slightly bigger. So Cornish butterfly legs of lamb. Can you see? So now, see here, the bottom's just pulled out. I just simply turned the brush over, and it's. Uh, Coming better. Cornish butterfly legs of lamb, that's good. Right, uh, Thai chicken kebabs. Now, one way to make the list more readable is to do alternate colours. So there's yellow. <coughs> yellow here, which I like. Uh, I'll, I'll use yellow. It's a nice light. Like Don't use dark colours like the red, it'd be too dark. I'll squeeze this actually on here. I don't want to, that is the main eye catcher. This has got to be somewhat functional, not too flashy. It'll make the whole thing too busy if I'm not careful. Nearly finished here. Um, where these red finger marks are, I'll just get my black off the roller, put that back on. There's usually some up there as well. Take that off. Okay there. I've put some arrows, some stars here to make the, each of the five stand out and just separate them from the border with black. And then at the bottom here, there's a bit of a space. I'm just going to fill it with a, a swash. That's it. 
Right, the next important thing to do is have a drink of tea. Now, so there's a way that craftsmen in England drink tea. It's got to be hot. If it's out in American mug by Tom in uh, Milltown, Indiana, so much the better. But uh, as you bring it up, you, you go gingerly at it in case it's hot. And as it hits you, there's that. Ah, I'll do it all again. Ready? This, like this. Very nice. Thanks, Tom. Right, press on. <coughs> right, having marked all that out, I wonder if you can see the difference between, uh, or what I'm going about, about to do to tidy up and make it uh, come a bit brighter. So, look closely and watch in a minute. Okay, here's the answer. Uh, put a bit more white on that, black round there, highlights in there and there. Uh, put this salad thing in next to there, a bit more green around that. A nice white line across there and across there. Just separate them out a bit rather than things at the side. Um, a red shadow around there and some highlights. Some dots around there. Red around there, green around here, some highlights. Done. Got to go back to Leamington now and deliver them. They sounded a bit desperate so... Oh well, I'm here to serve. That's what I do. Anyway. A little bit more line down there, <laughs> just to get rid of that. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye. Do this one.